What is up, guys? I'm using a different camera right now since it's a 24 minute video, and my regular camera goes up to 20 minutes, then it cuts off after that, like a, like 10 seconds after that, and then just starts over again. So it's a really a hassle to use this that camera when you're moving it a longer video. So cell phone camera for now, but my cell phone still works. So let's try this new thing. What am I saying? A reaction to wrestling isn't wrestling. If you haven't heard about it, T let's start this shit. You do know it's fake, right? Yeah, but we still watch it. More real than any other TV show, WWE Raw features live death-defying stunts performed in front of an audience of thousands every week. People who feel the need to tell you that wrestling isn't real clearly don't watch wrestling because the show features an undead wizard, leprechauns, uh, an evil group of male cheerleaders. This show does not pretend to be an athletic competition. Instead, it's a we TV watch some show weird shit. about a wrestling show. It has wrestling more in common fan. with Game we of Thrones than shit. it does with UFC. And if you follow one character all the way through, you can see that this format allows the telling of interesting, diverse, and compelling stories. And there is no better place to start than with probably my favorite wrestler, Triple H. He is the game. <laughs> The character Hunter Hearst Helmsley is introduced in the mid-90s. Basically this snobby Connecticut blue blood character. He's from a super rich family. Someone who his whole life has just been told like, you're the best, you're the best. <laughs> and for reasons we don't really understand, he's decided to become a professional wrestler. So like this fancy, pretentious guy rolls up his sleeves. You know, and a fucking plumber can get into wrestling. For a while, Hunter Hearst Helmsley is just getting his ass kicked week in, week out. Yep. At around really the same did suck time, back then. a guy named Sean skinny Michaels Triple H. is on the top and of yes, the mountain. He's Triple H was skinny. He got no muscle for the heavyweight he title. He's Roids. kind of an effeminate Steroids. male stripper, gyrating, out. pretty boy, weirdo. He and Triple H kind of become friends. Triple H is a lower level guy, Shawn Michaels is a higher level <laughs> guy. Shawn Michaels is like, my hair, oh my god, Triple H, my hair. And then Triple H is like, my hair too. <laughs> and he I'm loses his hair later on, he uses his air plugs now. Now at this Michaels. point, wrestling is basically like wrestling is always portrayed. Hey, so Joey you Ryan. like big cartoony muscle guys. And, and Johnny go, Mundo. I'm from America, and I, do, I do, I'm American. And then a guy comes and he says, I'm the Russian guy. Wrestling was basically Mundo, a Saturday his, morning cartoon. He got more you see, this is where Shawn Michaels and Triple Muscled H come ever. in. Shawn Michaels goes to Triple H and says, I have a plan to get us both noticed. Shawn Michaels is a playgirl. I forgot but about that. It's a crazy fucking plan. Would you believe he didn't know it was for gay guys? China he thought it was for women? Like, oh, suck words? it, suck my dick. Yeah, what up? Wrestling's all rated now. Titty dick suck a vagina. And these two guys are going crazy on live television. Ooh, look at my butt. My butt can talk. Ooh, I'm going to take out my balls and see what happens. There haven't been <laughs> characters like oh, that. Oh, so the show DX back in the day. completely changed. The good DX, Suddenly not this shit we have now, PG like, era. Suck DX. it! They're talking about but sucking Coley dicks Culkin. right on TV! I want to say suck it to all of my friends. Five dollars for the dick sucker t-shirt, please! That's basically it! Yeah, I grew up doing that. Suck it! So these two idiot douchebags run afoul of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold! And Stone Cold Stone Go. beats the ever-living shit out of Shawn Michaels. Is that one of the Smosh guys is China? Disappears. Oh, my neck hurt, and my back hurt. <laughs> and for the first time, Triple H Yeah, Shawn is Michaels was full of shit the back then. The card. This is my time. I can do this. I didn't need Shawn Michaels. He was holding me back. I can become world heavyweight champion. Wrong, 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 mistake, mistake. You Wait, see, Triple H is you're not gonna mention his corporation right at the days? Time that wrestling is filled with some of its most memorable characters. Guys like the, the original Rock, corporation, Stone not Cold, the shit we have now. Mankind, Chris Jericho, the biggest ass kickers of a generation. Triple H is buried under a pile of people who are better than him. He needs to figure out a way to change the game. Because even though he's like a vicious psychopath, he's not quite as tough as the really tough guys. 
He I was think a slimy it's fair bastard. I to describe him as a B plus player. So what does he do? He finds a bunch of losers. He like finds them on the side of the road, and they're just idiots. <laughs> I'm, I'm Billy Gunn. I'm Mr. Ass. My thing is, I have a butt. I'm the road dog. My thing is, I spell my name. And I'm x -Pop. My thing is, I'm x <laughs> No one liked X Spock. In the end, Triple they H really like started Drake. hating for who, who he was, Drake. not the character. In fact, why they don't just you got tired of his ass. The you. actual the guys person. Are like, Titty, dick, suck, and vagina. We love Degeneration X. Triple H is like, yeah, you're my bodyguards now. He builds an army. He's turned what was a friggin' movement in wrestling into a group of stormtroopers who he pushes in front of him whenever a real fight comes around. But having an army isn't enough. To really secure a kingdom, you have to get the princess. Which so he stole from Test. Man, the daughter of the owner of the oh, company. Oh, poor Test. Kidnaps her. He could have been Triple H. Wants her. But Triple and H. marries her while she's passed out. Rapes. No, not rapes. How kidnaps her. How do you marry her. someone without their consent? Shouldn't he go to jail for you kidnapping a woman? I know. And drugging her? These are questions that you don't have to ask, because wrestling <laughs> isn't... Real. Because your head will fucking explode if you think about wins it. the title off guys who could kick his ass. The thing is, whenever people are about to beat him for the title, you've got Especially this group in TNA of, like, now. putties from Power Rangers. Total non-stop action, the shit that they do. The I the stopped watching because my brain was work, about to explode because of stupidity. you in the eye or kick you in the balls or bully the referee. And if that doesn't work, Triple Look H up H reverse battle royal in the on TNA with a and hand. try to understand what the fuck they're doing. Like, like, DX, you all like suck it, right? The audience is like, no, we hate you. Triple H is like, why? They're like, because you're a coward and you can't fight for yourself. Triple H is like, you always need your boys behind you. Them. The audience is like, shouldn't you be in prison for hitting someone with a sledgehammer? Hey, it's crime Triple time. H is like, Along with the Six Sense kid. I'm the best at wrestling. The audience is like, get the <laughs> Triple H is so paranoid about his own guys that he takes them out one by one and yep. allies with Stephanie McMahon. Triple H is like, but I kidnapped you. You love me now? She's like, yeah, man, I'm actually, I've been super evil the whole time, basically. He's like, no way, that's awesome. DX is dead, but Triple H is now a corporate champion at the top of the company. What's important to remember here is that the way this guy originally got power was by saying fuck you to authority yeah but he's so scared of losing that title now he's got it and he won't let go in triple it H's was mind, so annoying. this object is everything it that would, he, he would isn't. it would piss me off so he much he wants back then. that power he Still wants people to like cheer him again, he wants them to know he is the best but he isn't Triple H is now being pursued by dozens of guys. Everyone's trying to make a name for themselves by taking out the champion. So Triple H does what he does best. Builds an insulating shell around himself. He finds this old guy, Ric Flair. His skin is basically leather. He's a disgusting old goober who yells woo. He's <laughs> awesome. Just trust me, he's awesome. Sometimes when you describe something in wrestling, it doesn't sound awesome, but then when you see it, it's a fuck, fuck it, it's Ric Flair. Yeah, he's true. awesome. Then Triple H he scouts out this total lunatic, snake-like psycho named Randy Orton. I'm a fucking snake. I like to hurt old people. Harry Potter. Triple H is like, this seems like a guy I could trust. <laughs> the final break of the day is Batista, a ripped ass kicker who's more brawn than brains hey. and Triple H can order to is destroy that from on the roster. You two? <laughs> yeah, it is. William Johnson's ex-girlfriend. And for nearly three years, Triple H holds on to that title like Gollum with the fucking ring. He can't let it go. Because if you are about to pin Whoa. Triple H, surprise, there's Ric Flair. What the fuck's your name? Don't turn around, Chick from Vine. Orton. And then if you get Read through them, Batista will throw you off the surface of the earth and into space, and you'll hit the moon, you'll go through the moon, you'll go to space and die. That's real. That happened. 
from the beginning of this group called Evolution, they're a little crazy. That's a full house. Randy Orton is a crazy person. Batista has a serious rage problem. And Ric Flair is old as fuck. And things get <laughs> real hard when Shawn Michaels comes back. Hey, Triple H, it's me, Shawn Michaels, so happy to see you, oh my god, Triple H is like, so happy to see you, I'm gonna fucking kill you, get the fuck out of here, I'm in charge now, I'm important, someone tell me I'm important, someone tell me I'm as good as Shawn Michaels, for the better part of a year, Triple H beats the fuck out of Shawn Michaels, who's going for his title. Don't forget this he had a gay really Dutch hair cut you know, back in the day, when he came back after his Well, this, back, complex. Well, this guy back. shows up, this little Canadian guy. This guy is not a main eventer like Triple H and Shawn Michaels. The man that should not be named. Triple H can't believe this. Ignore him. When the time comes for our big <laughs> exactly. match, Exactly, that's Shawn what it Michaels felt like the entire you time. and me. It was this these is two assholes out of the entire time. Like, I mean, he did win the title shot. Triple H is like, but he's a little guy and we're big and strong. At WrestleMania, Triple H's obsession with trying to beat Shawn Michaels costs him the title to Chris Benoit. And Triple H, try as he might, can't get the title back. <laughs> but you know who beats Chris Benoit? Randy Orton. Randy Orton. Exactly. Hey, Randy's so cool that you won the title. I'm forgetting. He won it back a month you later. And you and now you're going to be champion. I'm going to fucking kill you. I'm the best. Give me that title. Triple H That pissed the title a lot of people off York. back then. And it's at about when this Triple time H beat Randy that Batista for the title. wins a shot for the title. Triple H is like, hey, Batista. Hey, buddy. Buddy. You don't want to take a shot at the title, man. Well, you take a shot at the title with me. We're best friends. We're such good friends, Batista. Batista's like... You know, I watch this show, and it seems like whenever you are nervous about someone taking the title, you turn on people, you turn on your best friend, to beat up, you had me beat up Randy Orton. I feel like you're probably gonna turn on me soon. Triple H is like, no, what? But you're saying you're crazy. That's so silly. Let's kill him. Oh, shit. <laughs> Batista one-ups Triple H, yeah. takes that title, and rises to the top of the card. Old man Ric Flair, has a conversation with Triple H, where Triple H is basically like, Batista's not better than me because he beat me. Randy Orton's not better than me because he beat the guy I couldn't beat. And Shawn Michaels isn't better than me because, 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 Ric Flair, say something, tell me I'm good. Ric Flair is like, peace, dude, this is weird. <laughs> Triple H is like, audience, tell me I'm good. What do I need to do to make you love me? The audience says, well, we don't like John Cena. Oh, that fucker. John Cena is a newer character at this time. He's basically Superman, and people yep. hate him for all the reasons people hate Superman. Yep. He's bland. He yep. wins all the time. All He's the fucking time. two shoes. The character never changes. He always does the same thing. He shrugs off beatdowns and smiles and laughs about That's it. That's what he fucking takes I hate about it. He takes out of everything because he never fucking loses. Exactly. Triple H says, well, I do have a sledgehammer. Triple H comes out like, hey, John Cena, you suck. <laughs> Probably the best moment I love when he just went off on me. I'm the best. And then WrestleMania Tell me I'm better than Shawn Michaels. They're like, well, beat John Cena. We'll think about it. Triple H goes after Cena and he loses. Exactly. Then Triple H and Shawn Michaels end up going after Cena at the same time, and they both lose. You can't beat Superman. But them hanging Crypt out tonight. a little bit makes Triple H like, hey, Shawn Michaels, we're both like oh God, not to older DX. and like way more mature. And Shawn Michaels is like, yeah. Triple H is like, maybe like together we could be best friends again and like do do it where where we do the the DX again. Shawn Michaels is like, I'm. 45 years old. And Triple Christian, like, so I can't do the, yeah, this thing good. anymore. But I'll do it in my midway so instead of doing come, it on my dick. Wrestling is rated PG now, which means they jump out like, Poopy Cock, Fart, Christian. Fart, 
Check out you our know, Shawn Michaels, he always is X, DX saying is shit. riding high. Triple H is having this moment where people are cheering for him, and that's when Shawn Michaels gets bored. You see, Shawn Michaels is reaching near the end of his career. He wants to do something no one else has ever done, and that's beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania. And then Brock Lesnar finally beat him. Who is The Undertaker? Well, hold on to your sus sus suspension of disbelief, because it's about to take a fucking beating. He's here. I like turtles. The Undertaker is a wizard, a satanic magician, and no, I don't know why he's a wrestler. He was part of this cult when he was a little kid. They sacrificed his three little girls. Now he's got this creepy guy, Paul, with him. He has this intense relationship with his demon brother, Kane. It's all pretty he locked up in the basement. insane. And add to that, for some the man's reason, a cult somehow go out of out hundreds to, uh, of hooded go figures. Go party with Katie Vick and you know also fake. have sex with a dead right. body. What matters is that Undertaker has never been defeated at WrestleMania. Brock Shawn Lesnar Michaels did is like, defeat him. I think I could beat him. He couldn't. Shawn Michaels is like, damn it, I feel like I could really beat him if I just had one more chance, you know? <laughs> Undertaker says, hey. <laughs> Undertaker says, I will give you another match at next year's WrestleMania, but only if when you lose, you retire from wrestling forever. Shawn Michaels is like, uh, I don't know if I should do that. What do you think, Triple H? Triple H is like, no, it would be so terrible if you left and never came back. That would be the worst. Oh my God. You should do it. You should do it. Why don't you do it? Don't be a pussy. You should do it. Do it. Do it, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels is like, okay, sure. So Shawn Michaels loses to The Undertaker, is permanently retired. No, never say never, because he could come back one day. Because Ric Flair retired. Retired. And then start wrestling again. Everybody retires. Unless they actually can't work wrestling anymore. Aw, oh, poor Shawn Michaels. Look up Terry Funk. He has retired 600 times. Oh, boo Shawn. You're going to feel real stupid when I beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania. I'm wasted. Bad. An important thing to remember about Triple H is that Ooh. he views himself when he looks in the mirror as this warrior, knight, Conan, destroyer, super badass, unstoppable guy. The fact that he's actually an insecure, cheating, undercutting, manipulative coward, he's kind of blind to. He yeah. can't see it. And that's why when The Undertaker beats him, all Triple H can think about is, but I still got some good hits in though, right? And everyone's like, Sort of. Hey, stop acting like you beat me. Yeah, but I kinda did, sort of. No, you didn't. Yeah, but I hit you a bunch of times. That's not how wrestling works. You can't win, just, you, you lost. Admit that you lost. No. Fight me again, then. No. <laughs> You're not as good as Shawn Michaels. Oh! Shots fired. I will fight you anywhere. I will fight you on the moon. It's going to be a Hell in the Cell match where I'm allowed to use any weapon I want. My sledgehammer. And the referee is going to be um my best friend, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels is like, we're well, chilling on the best on the best friend. On the best friend, Triple H is like, you're you my didn't best friend. Me back in and with Shawn Michaels as the guest referee, smashing me into a car. Any weapon he wants in a match that he chose, Triple H loses to the Undertaker. This is the end of an era. Triple H is so beaten up at the end of his match. That he, that Shawn was Michaels, a good moment, and the Undertaker we walk out together in what together. should be a beautiful moment. The end of three careers. Instead, it's my time. Triple H uses the fact that he's married to the daughter of the owner of the company to secure a corporate position. That's right. The rebel, the barbarian ass kicker, the guy who could never be tamed. I am the ultimate destroyer, the one true diamond in this industry. I'm also a suit. Uh, I, I'm here <laughs> that to. That is tell fucking you, weird. Uh, from how that, he started uh, my to where wife he is now. says that uh, you're all in big trouble. But this is almost the perfect position for him. No longer an active wrestler, Triple H is closer to the title than he'd be holding. 
See, he gets to Kiss choose death. who fights for it. And Triple H is so insecure and so obsessed with this title that he is constantly interfering with real wrestlers because he can't let it go. It was he annoying. He never proved that he was good. That was truly annoying. So I'll tell you one last story. And it's about a guy named Brian Daniel Bryan. Fuck Daniel Bryan. Brian Danielson, man. Daniel Bryan of honor. was this little, scrappy, weird, vegan, sort of like... Am I the only one that hates his yes chant? No. That's so goddamn annoying. Yes. People fucking love him. They he's love Brian him Danielson. so much. And you know what? I don't blame them. There's something great about Daniel Bryan. Everybody loves Brian actor, Danielson. But sometimes in wrestling, that doesn't matter. When you have enough heart and a weird enough face, the American you can reach man. the top of Our this witch. industry. The fact Bring that Daniel on. Bryan is wrong? competing against guys like Randy Orton, Triple H's former protege, and Batista, another Triple H creation, pisses Triple H off. Because when Triple H sees Daniel Bryan, he sees a guy who isn't good enough. When Triple H sees Daniel Bryan, Screw him. he that sees Bryan Danielson Triple is H. Awesome and everything. Get the fuck out of here! You are not a commercial champion! You're an ugly little gnome and I hate you and you'll never get a title match! Triple H ends up repeatedly interfering in this guy's career, trying to shut him down. This is bullshit! This is bullshit! Get the bricks! He says, okay, you know what? At WrestleMania right now, the main event is Batista versus Randy Orton. But if you can beat me, the game, the King of Kings, the ass kicker, at WrestleMania, Daniel Bryan, you can be in the main event. Batista You'll have to versus Randy Orton by three itself would have been guys so in goddamn boring. In one night, so least, fuck you. Put in Daniel, Daniel Bryan. Bryan does it. Brian Danielson in real easy. Made it so much beats Orton and Batista, and an audience of twenty thousand people yells yes, yes, yes as Triple H responds by crying on the floor. The I missed that. I gotta see on. that again. When did he that's cry? That's the thing about wrestling. It doesn't. It's, it's end. definitely out there somewhere. I gotta check that. But out. that's the thing about life too. And yeah, I left stuff out, but you don't remember everything. Humans crave melodrama. They crave fiction. When you're sitting alone and texting, it's because you're bored. Our imagination is epic our greatest is gift epic. and our greatest curse. Because we're bored all the time. And that's what fiction does for us. It gives us a sort of simulator for bigger stories and bigger emotions. That's what Lord of the Rings is. That, that's what Phantom of the Opera is. That's what Goodfellas is. That's everything. It's us to watching escape your own and world. feeling the human capacity for empathy through imagination. That's why we have stories. Triple H is a great character in yeah. fiction. Told over two decades. 95. A snob who had a chip on his shoulder 20 that years he never already. let go. Holy crap. And just wanted to be the best. But never could be that without cheating. Finally selling out to but the that's point him that if he can't be the that's champion, him debuting, debuting. he'll choose the champion. In the WWF only, because before he was in WCW and wherever else. Yeah, he was in WCW. Type in John Paul Levesque versus Alex Wright. And that's what you need, man. That's what we all want. Long John Mike. Silver to Perseus to Neo to, to Walter White. We love watching people grow, change, struggle. Yeah. Good people, bad people, we don't care. We want to see it, man. We need entertainment and we need it now. And when you watch wrestling, that's what you get. Now don't get me wrong, a lot of wrestling sucks. But when it's good, TNA it's mostly. fucking great. Wrestling is try. melodrama. Wrestling TNA is mythology. Can be actually good. Wrestling is action. Wrestling is comic books. The only thing wrestling isn't is wrestling. True. It's predetermined, son. Exactly. Max Landis, Goldberg here. You can use that for your video, and I won't come kill you. Because <laughs> Goldberg totally will, because you don't want to fuck with Goldberg.
No, do not start another video. Why? I thought I turned you off. But yeah, that's wrestling. Is it wrestling? Basically, he this guy is pretty much on point. It's like, yeah, a lot of us wrestling fans watch wrestling to escape a reality. And we accept the bullshit. Now, we don't accept all the bullshit, but we don't really think about it that much because, like, basically, if you think about it that much, it will fucking destroy your brains. Like, think about it. Like, Undertaker, a dead guy. The time he debuted it, he came in, that actually worked in that era. If you do that now, it would fail so badly. Taking point, when that shit that was called ECW, when they rebooted it back in the day, a couple years ago, Vince McMahon's WWE CW. They brought in the zombie. Look that up on YouTube. The zombie's ECW debut. You laugh so hard. The same concept as The Undertaker. But since we live in this reality of this era, it got shit upon. And the zombie's pretty much the same goddamn thing as The Undertaker. Anyways, that's it for now. Humanoid Nation. Take it easy. Bye.